Good morning, this is Richie at Growfolds, and today we are revisiting the Callaways at the Prosper um, location near the gates of Prosper in Texas. Um, I'm just coming back here to look for a specific Monstera Thai constellation. I did a video where I was talking about it's a highly variegated Monstera Thai constellation, and if I were to purchase one, I would purchase that. But as you can see, it is nowhere to be found. And this was literally about two days ago. I mean, this one has a pretty good, you know, variegated leaf, but the one that I had that, you know, I told you guys that I would most likely maybe revisit and purchase is gone. Um, so this comes to the point where variegated plants, the more variegation the plant has, the more precious it is, the more sought after it is. And, you know, we have all of these nice Monstera constellations for I think $89.99 at this Callaway's and the highly variegated one is nowhere to be found. And it was literally like two to three days ago. Like this one has okay variegation. Like look at that sectoral variegation there. But in terms of the one I had, and I wish I still had the clip to insert, it had phenomenal variegation. The leaves were a little bit smaller, but it definitely had better genetics than those. So I don't know. I guess what i'm trying to say is if you go to a plant nursery and you find a plant that you really like i would suggest purchasing it because you never know if it's gonna come back like this one still has that nice leaf unfurling but i'm just kind of disappointed in myself like i know that it was a hefty price this one has a cool growth point by the way um but it was an actually good variegated monstera thai constellation like like this one right here this is so supposedly a my mon, you know monstera thai constellation but it looks like a regular monstera deliciosa i mean there's just a little bit of like speckling like maybe somebody took a paintbrush and put a little bit of white speckling but the one that i wanted or I was thinking of purchasing is no longer available so you know tip to anybody who is collecting plants and doing plant nurseries and you really need to pick up the plant if you want to go home with it in terms of, you know, maybe I'll go back the next day. Well, it may not be there the next day. It may not even be there the next hour. So while I'm here, I just want to go ahead and start, you know, looking at the beautiful plants at this location. They still have some gorgeous neon pothos, which I'm going to pick up, not today, but this is a really cool um, pearls and jade pothos in a four inch pot. Um, love the variegation. I'm looking for an enjoy, but Neon Pothos takes the cake. I'm looking for a really good um, hanging basket, just a really full plant because look at that. It just it just shouts like awesomeness. I am going to pick up a Marble Queen Pothos today. This one is nice, but I'm going to look for a fuller one. And the pricing at Callaway's is amazing. And their return policy is if you hold on to the receipt, you can return any plant within a year full price, no questions asked. You just have to bring the dead plant and the pot it was in. So there's always this like guaranteed um, reassurance that you're not just throwing away money if a plant dies. Um, here are some really cool just regular cordatums. Um, really like that as well. You can see that that's a really big leaf right here. And, but I still can't believe I didn't pick up that Thai constellation. I should have done it. I should have done it. I should have just purchased it. But, you know, lesson learned. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look at this Philodendron Brazil. I love how it's a trailing plant. I just wish this was a little bit more variegation. Otherwise, I would pick it up. Um, the plant pricing for these plants are fair. And I would highly recommend the Prosper location for Callaways if you're in the North Dallas um, Prosper area. This is still a beautiful Syngonium, but I believe it was like $29.99. Um, I feel like I can find a, a better price for that. Although I will say Callaway's does sell um, four inch Syngoniums for like $6.99, which is really great. Um, the one that I'm looking at right now is that like Pink Perfection or Pink Splash or something like that. And then I actually own, used to own this one, but I overwatered it and it ended up like rotting its roots and it died. Syngonium actually like a lot of water, but too much water, just it killed it. But look at these amazing hanging baskets right here. And then just the view of 
this plant nursery Callaway's in the morning is just amazing. There's several locations in the DFW market. So I highly recommend anybody who's visiting Dallas to check out a Callaway's nursery. So now I am going to look at some of my favorite plants, which would be the Aglonema. This is a really cool Aglonema Lady Madonna. I love the white stems and also just the white variegation it has. It's amazing. And for this plant, I believe it is $16.99 for a six inch pot. And you can see that it's a very healthy Aglonema. I've already gotten an Aglonema from Plant Keeper, which is another nursery I'm going to be featuring um, in a later blog. But the other Aglonema we have here, like look at this Aglonema Siam. I already have one of these. I ended up getting it at a big box store called Lowe's. But, you know, I always like looking at Aglonema. They just bring me a lot of joy. This is a really cool one, too. I think this is Aglonema Sapphire Susan. We also have another Aglonema, uh, some more unnamed Aglonemas. Um, so let's take a look at what else we have over here. I am looking at this one right here. I thought it was an Aglonema Maria, but it's not. So I may end up picking these up. There's a couple more. And the thing is, I'm not worried about Aglonema actually selling out. Um, I've said this in previous blogs, but I feel like it's such an underrated plant. I mean, like this is $16.99 and you're getting a full plant that doesn't require a lot of watering. Because if you actually overwater an Aglonema, that's really how you kill it. That's how you make it leggy. And it doesn't really require a lot of light. More light, it's going to be a bushier plant and it's going to thrive more, but it can tolerate lower light conditions. Look at these beautiful zebra plants right over here. I've used to own one before, and then we also have some Sansevieria um, bird's nest. I like these um, little starter plugs. I think they are $3.99, and we have the Sansevieria moonshine. So I am in the hunt for one of these. I know that, I, you know, I just stated earlier that if you like a plant, you should just purchase it. But like with Sansevieria, it's one of those plants that are not really highly sought after. So I know that these aren't necessarily going to move and they're easier to find. But like a highly variegated Monstera Thai constellation, I knew I should have gotten it because even though it's starting to become more common, this was one plant I really regret not purchasing. But look at these awesome Dracaena. Um, look at how big these plants are fully developed plants it's that's the one thing i like about um callaways is they have a variety of sizes of plants unfortunately these sizes of plants are just not going to work in my um, home space my home space doesn't have the really large tall um walls i have a smaller house so i don't want to like keep bringing plants with this this size and then just kind of like clutter and make the space a little bit less open um, I do love the fern. I didn't feature this in the last video, but look at these staghorn ferns. Beautiful staghorn ferns right, he uh, ferns right here. We have a lot that are being sold for, I think, $16.99. So that's not bad for a staghorn fern. And then we have a, a variety of different types of ferns at this Callaway's. Like, look at this one right here, $24.99 for a six-inch pot. I like that. It's a beautiful um, bird's nest fern. Here's another one, really pretty. There's just a, a variety of ferns right over here. So let's take a look at this one. This one is another one for $19.99. The thing about ferns is it, they do require a lot of water and they do prefer a lot of humidity. And I don't really have that kind of environment in my home. But look at this one right here. This is another beautiful fern that we have over here. That's the thing I like about Callaway's. Their merchandising is amazing. Look at this one right here. This bird's nest fern, 16, not, not six, six ninety nine for a four inch pot. So that's a good starter plant. Um, we have another fern right here for that, for a pretty good price. Um, look at that. And this also in the morning light, it looks amazing. This is the maiden hair fern. I used to have one, but ended up killing it. This one just requires a lot of humidity and I can't really have like humidities, um, humidifiers, you know, working and just um, doing its thing for hours and hours. I have um, hardwood floor and I just don't want that to like warp the floors and stuff. But look at all of these ferns. Um, what I was saying about Callaways is I love the merchandising they do. They like really, you know, stripe the plants by color. They keep the species together. They're um, 
their merchandising at this nursery is really nice like look at these large monstera deliciosa you know at the big box stores i was noticing that the monstera Del deliciosas new leaves were unfurling with a lot of damage and i didn't know what was going on with that if it was like a specific pest that it had but look at these huge dracaena like if you wanted a low light tolerant large plant you should go to this callaways and purchase like a dracaena i s look at this um very mature monstera deliciosa i don't even know how much they're selling it for but that's amazing and then obviously we're going to go to this table again with the whale fin sansevieria that's really cool i have one and it's mul multiplied over like the last year and a half two years I'm still looking at this Monstera um, Moonshine. I just like that it has like a very silver ghostly look about it. We have some ZZ Ravens. Um, the, the zebra plants are cool. And then we're going to look at this Aglonema. And I ended up purchasing one of these Aglonemas. And I actually got the, um, the Aglonema plant ID. It is the Aglonema um, Silverado. Thanks to my friend Garen who runs the Plant Keeper Nursery in Dallas, which I'm going to feature in a later video. And then this is another Aglonema that I was going to purchase today. I'm really debating about it. I want it to be like a project plant just because it's leggy so I can like cut all of those plants that, you know, the those um, nodes at the very top right here and create like a thicker red siam And I like the variegation. It has like a different vibe about it. The, the red, um, edging isn't as prominent but that's another plant that i'm not i don't think anybody's going to be buying it's been there for a couple months now anyhow guys i hope you like this quick tour of the callaways and prosper if you like this content please subscribe to growfolds and i will see you guys on the next video bye